to DIY builds, or boom boxes, pardon me, in the great state of Texas. I'm Phil, your host, and I just wanted to answer a few questions I'm beginning about battery chargers, and a lot of people seem to have some questions about them, so I just wanted to cover the different types of battery chargers that are out there and show you what different options you have and what I personally use to uh, charge my projects. Now, you have two different types of batteries. Uh, the main battery you have is going to be a lead acid battery. Like this one, this is a 7 amp hour battery. They have 12 amp hour batteries that are much larger. I prefer to use those for our car radios. I'm actually going to use two of these wired together to wire my big project. Of course, you're going to be wired in parallel so you can run and still have 12 volts. You never want to wire them in series. So you always want to go negative, negative, positive, positive. That way you'll still get 12 volts, but you'll get double the amperage. So I use a lot of lead acid batteries in my projects. If you have a lead acid battery, you're going to want to use a battery charger. Now the other option you have, I can find out what I did with it. Well, I don't have it right now. It's going to be a lithium ion battery, but that's going to come with its own charger. And we're going to talk about that in another video, probably uh, this weekend when I get some more. We're going to talk about power supplies and batteries. So anyway, you basically lead acid battery. There's different ways to charge it. Now, a lot of you might have this sitting around your house. This is something that I've had for several years. And that is a big giant battery charger. And this particular one here will charge anything from a small battery like this all the way up to an RV or a big truck, depending on how you have the switches set. There's an automatic battery charger. It is made for automobiles. But again, it'll do motorcycle batteries, it'll do these lead acid batteries, scooters, whatever you have. And this, this works great. This, this will do the job. It's not the fanciest thing in the world as far as it's very big, it's very bulky, it makes a humming sound when you plug it in. And it's really not that convenient to have with your projects. And also if you do like me and you sell your projects to customers, you're not going to sell them something like this. This battery charges over $100 brand new. So this is great for your car or if you happen to have one you don't have anything else. It'll work in a pinch. It's not something you really want to go with. So now if you're on a budget and you just want to get something basic here's one that I picked up from Harbor Freight. I think the battery charger was ten dollars on Harbor Freight. It just plugs in the wall, has a little indicator light and uh, just take your regular clamps here and of course clamp them to the battery and it will charge your battery and it'll do the job uh, I don't know how long it would take because I've never particularly used this one but I heard it takes maybe a day to a day and a half to completely charge your battery back up and these are okay but I would not particularly recommend them if you have one you like it hey that's great but it's just not what I like to use now what I do like to use is over here. And this is what I use to charge all my projects. Where there's a very long cord, so the cord's a little bit tangled up right now. This is a battery tender junior. I like it because number one, it's an automatic charger. I like the size of it, it's very small, it's compact. It's very easy to use, and I sell these with all the projects that I sell that have lead acid batteries. You basically just plug it in to the wall after you. You always want to go ahead and put your clamps on first. It's fuse protected. It's circuit protected. You can't cross the wires. If you do, it'll, it'll um, blink at you. Now, when you plug it in, the light turns red. It's charging. When it blinks green, that means you're 80% charged. When it turns green, it means your battery's charged. You can unplug this and go about your day. So these are $27 at Amazon. I'm sure Parts Express might sell them. I haven't checked. I see how much they are there, but I get most of my stuff at Amazon and it works really, really well. Now another question I had was about actually charging the battery in your project. And for that I have another one of my boom boxes here. Let me see here. This is uh, one that I built a while back. Got some dust on it. I don't use it very often. And anyway, let me 
crank it open so you can see the inside and we get the insulation out. And as you can see, I have the battery laying sideways in there. Now it would be really difficult to try to get in here with your battery charger and charge the battery. So what you can see is here, I've got this little port right here and you see the red and black wires coming out of here going through a fuse and then going to the battery. And the reason for that is, let me show you here, is on most of my projects that have lead acid batteries, I use these ports right here. They look like this when you get them and they come black and uh, you can paint them to uh, match your project. Just tape this off with some masking tape and you can uh, and scratch up the code a little bit and you can make it any color of the rainbow that you like. But these are really great because you have your black terminal and your red terminal and all you have to do is take your battery tender and always always plug it in charge it up clip it first before you plug it in so you don't cross the wires all you do is clamp it on just like that and you're ready to go plug it in and let the charger do the work when you're done charging go ahead and just unplug it from the wall and take it off and you're ready to go and that's one reason why I like using these terminals here now some people I've done this on another project may want these not want these terminals live all the time that's why I did put a fuse across on there so if something metal were to touch across here I mean it's pretty flush but just in case something crosses these terminals it will blow the fuse before it gets to the battery and gets to your radio and also on another project I did for another guy actually put a switch little tiny switch right here on the side, you can switch it off to turn these terminals off so they wouldn't be live connected to the battery. So that's what I do here. I use these little terminals right here. I think they come in a five pack for five or six dollars at Amazon or wherever you want to get your parts. They're brass terminals and they can handle the current just fine. It's only 12 volts and they work really really well and they look really good again you can paint them to uh, match your project you saw my other video I've ha I had mine painted different colors uh, this one had kind of a blue theme to it so that's why I kind of painted everything blue so let me go ahead and uh, this is so much easier than having to open your box and take your chargers and stick the charger in there and this way you can make the battery any kind of configuration that you want um, you can even have it where I have some projects with the radio I goes over the battery, you can't even get to it. And uh, it works really, really well. Go ahead and stuff all this insulation back in here. Just gives it a little bit better sound. And that's how that works. Now, one important thing I want to cover before I go is, let me show you this right here. This is my one of my 12 volt power supplies. Now I use this one to power my boom box that I have next to my bed and this is an external power supply, it's not an internal because it's got a switch on it and everything. I am ordering an internal power supply. I'm going to do a video next week about power supplies and batteries so be on the lookout for that but let me stress, uh, I can't stress enough, this is not a power, I mean this is not a battery charger. If you use this to try to charge your batteries, two things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to overheat the power supply because it's not designed for that kind of a load. And you're going to burn up your power supply. Or you could even set, set something on fire. It is thermally protected, but this thing will get really, really hot. The other thing that will happen is your batteries are not going to like it. They're going to get hot, and eventually you're going to ruin your batteries. So you don't want to do that. So don't use... A power supply as a battery charger it's not designed for it. this is just designed to give constant power to your projects like in this case for a car radio now what I do is in my project I have a switch that will switch from the batteries to the power supply manually I'm going to be doing an automatic switch in my big build and I'm going to show you how to design that circuit in another video but just for the time being is a power supply is not a battery charger you must use a dedicated battery charger like the battery tender and again the battery tender works fantastic I mean this, this thing's light as a feather it's, it's great again I sell these with all my projects that have lead acid batteries and it works just fine 
So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this cleared up some questions you might have about batteries and battery chargers. I'm going to do a video this weekend on power supplies and also on batteries and how to power your project and what, what batteries to choose for what project you want to do and how much power you're going to need for your project. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And y'all have a great, great day, great week. And we'll see you probably on New Year's Day. So talk to you then.